Hello, everyone. It's another rainy Monday here in New York, but we're going to go ahead and get started. So find a more comfortable seat and then see if you can do that side to side. You know, find your sit bones, those two sort of pointy bones that come out of the bottom of your, out of your pelvis. Um, we have people online and then people here trickle in, so don't think you're going to be the only one. We will get other people in. So make your way into your comfortable seat and then start to sit up nice and tall. Think about drawing your belly button in and lifting up through your spine, getting your head as tall as you can, as high as you can. Bring your shoulders up to your ears, squeeze them in, and then let them relax down. Inhale, squeeze your shoulders up, and then exhale, let them down. So we want to think about bringing all the tension from the day into our shoulders, and then just exhale, let it all go. Beautiful. So let your hands come to a comfortable place on your legs. If it's comfortable, close your eyes. If not, just soften your gaze and then drop your chin to your chest. Start to feel the stretch through the back of your neck and the tops of your shoulders. Take a breath here. And as you slowly exhale, notice if that stretch gets any deeper. Roll your right ear over towards your right shoulder and feel the stretch move through the sides of the back of your neck. Take another breath here. And bring the chin back to the front as you roll your left ear over to your left shoulder. And breathe. Bring your chin back down to your chest, lift it up so you're looking straight forward. And now turn, looking over your right shoulder. And come back to center, turn, looking over your left shoulder. And come back to center. We're going to walk our fingertips out to our sides, either side, and then tippy tap your fingertips like little raindrops. Press down with your left hand, reach your right hand straight out. And then rotate your right palm back and rotate your palm up to the ceiling. So think about moving from your shoulder socket so your arm is staying still. And you wanna find that rotation in your shoulder socket, nice. Exploring how that feels. And now let your palm point up to the ceiling, bring your right ear straight up to the sky, breathe in, reach up taller, exhale, bend over to the left. Breathe here. Now, as you stretch to the left, think about anchoring down through your right hip. So maybe you even press a little bit into your left hand. There's a little bit of tension there. You're pressing the mat away as you're reaching over towards the left. And now float your right arm all the way back down to the ground. Reach your left arm out to the side. And now think about rotating your palm up to the ceiling. And then back behind you, nice. Rotate it all the way up. So think about moving through your shoulder blade. Don't forget that you're still sitting up tall. You're still drawing your belly button in. You're still relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. So many things. All right, keep your palm face up to the ceiling. Turn it the other way. Face up, there we go, more comfortable. Reach your arm up by your ear. Lengthen, 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 and then exhale, bend over to your right towards the hallway. You can even press down into the mat with your right hand and see if you can find a big stretch. Now, if you notice that your hip is coming up off the ground, go ahead and press it back down. Maybe you need to not stretch as far. All right, come back up through center. We're gonna flow side to side. So you're gonna bring your arms out into a T, we're going to drop our left arm down, reach to the right. So we're going opposite. We're going to drop the other arm down. Just a little bit of a side to side. You can let your spine get 
a little more mobile. I just want to get those workday cobwebs out. Make sure we're moving things before we get going. All right. Come back to center. We're going to crawl our way into our <coughs> tabletop. Sorry. Coming on to all fours. So your knees are going to line up under your shins. Your hands are going to line up under your shoulders. I'm going to get to look at my Halloween manicure. Hopefully you all have something fun too. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Your point your finger is pointing straight forward. Look between your legs. You shouldn't see your feet. So you want them not in, not out. They should be straight back, hidden by your legs. Now think about pressing into your fingertips, your knuckles, and the outer edges of your palm. Drop your belly, open your chest, look out and up, and then exhale, bring up. This doesn't have to be a big movement right away. Inhale, we're gonna work on some spinal flexion. And then exhale, round. Inhale forward. And exhale, round. Nice. So go ahead and move side to side here. So it's a little bit of a different rotation, but you're still trying to get some extra movement through your vertebra and through your spine. And this can be a little bit more fun, a little bit more funky. And now come back to that center tabletop. We're going to reach our right leg behind us. Rock back and forth over your right toes. So you're reaching your heel back. Your hands are staying put, but you're shifting your whole body back and forth. Nice. And then from here, we're going to lift our right leg up. Keep it at hip height. Think about lifting your belly button up. So you want a straight line. You don't want your leg up. It can be lower. But try and keep it at hip height. And now bend your knee, kick your butt. Extend, bend and kick, and extend, bend and kick, and extend. Now this time we're gonna bend, so it's a 90 degree angle, and I want you to try and tap your foot on the ceiling. Little taps, burn in the glutes, maybe a little bit. But really what I want you to work on is how you're balancing on two hands and one leg. Try and keep your hips square to the mat. Nice. And now extend that right leg back out behind you. Explore reaching your left arm forward and your left arm up. Nice. Now, if you're balanced here, you want to take it a little bit further. You can exhale and draw your knee and elbow together. Inhale, reach out nice and long. Exhale, lift your spine, belly button up, round your back. Connect your knee and your elbow. One more time, reach out long, exhale, draw it in. Reach your leg out. We're gonna put our arm down, keep our leg lifted. Now tap your toes down. You're gonna lift your left leg, which is the one on the ground, just maybe like 45 degrees. And then you're gonna rotate onto the inner edge of your right foot. So your left leg is moving whatever you need it to do. Perfect. And you're gonna face the door. And we're gonna reach, yeah, there you go. So your left leg can move 90 degrees, it can move 45 degrees. It's just basically moving so that you aren't falling over. Reach your right arm straight up to the sky. It's a side plank, but you're supporting yourself with your knee all the way down. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna lift our back leg and see if we can lift and tap. Lift and tap, nice. Perfect, so you guys should be facing the door just like you are. Press into your arms, see if you can find some space in between your rib cage and the mat. And last one, bring your right hand down, return to your tabletop position. And now shake it out. And let's see if we can remember what we did on here. All right, reach that left leg behind you, rock back and forth. Always have the best intentions. Rocking back and forth. See how far you can reach your heel back, maybe come all the way over to the front of your foot. And now stay here, lift your leg up, find your balance. So you might feel like you're shifting a little bit, see if you can keep your chest even, and then bend the left knee, kicking your butt. Bend and kick, bend and kick, 
press the mat away from you so you're not dumping pressure into your wrists. And you do that by pressing into the outer edges of your hand, your fingerprints, your knuckles, as much of your finger as possible. All right, now bend the leg, foot up to the ceiling, tap the ceiling. Tap, 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 tap. Nice, extend the leg out behind you. Draw your right arm forward, and if you can, balance here. So gaze straight down so that your head is in line with your spine. And then if you want, you can exhale, draw the elbow to the knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. One more time. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. All right, so we're going to place our right hand down. Our left toes come down to the mat. We turn our right foot however much we need to so that we can reach our left arm up to the sky. So you guys are facing the windows and now lift the top leg up and down. So we're in a side plank variation, working on our balance, your core should be engaged, but we're also slowly working through our joints, getting everything moving around. All right, left leg down, left hand down, come back to your tabletop position, shake your hips out, curl your toes under, and if you can, walk your hands back to your knees and see if you can sit up on those feet. I know that's a lot of sensation to put the weight back in your toes like that. Maybe you can even rock side to side runners. This is good. Get to the bottoms of your feet. All right, come back into our tabletop position. Turn your fingertips so they're at the outer edges of your mat and then sway side to side. So we're gonna stretch out our wrists here. Now, turn your fingertips towards your knees. You might only do one hand at a time. Maybe you can do both hands and then you're gonna rock forward and back. So if this is new, this might hurt a lot, or maybe you have really good wrist mobility. Yes. I think I did too much knitting yesterday. My right wrist hurts a little bit. Man, yeah, that's so sad. All right, turn your fingertips all the way around back to the front. Curl your toes under and slowly peel your hips up coming into your first downward facing dog. Pedal your feet out right and left. So in our down dog, we wanna think about our feet being hip distance apart, our toes pointing forward, your arms are shoulder distance apart, and you still want that pointer finger pointing towards the front of your mat. You're pressing the mat away from you from like the palm and the knuckles of your hands so you can try and get your head in between your arms so your ears line up with your biceps. So as you press your hands, your shoulders roll down your back, even though you're upside down, it feels like they're getting closer to your head. But not. Take another breath here. And then step your right foot up between your hands, however you need to. Bring your left heel down, untuck your toes. You're in this forward lunge, and I want you to bring your hips back so that they're over your knee, and then shift forward. So come back up, and shift forward. One more time, come back up, and shift forward. From this forward position, we're gonna press down into our front foot, Make sure our knee is lined up over our ankle. Bring our hands onto our thigh. Gently press your thigh away from you, opening up through your chest and your back. And then when you're ready, you can reach your arms up to the sky. Bring into your crescent lunge, letting your hips sink forward, but keeping your knee over your ankle. Bring your left hand down, twist and reach your right arm up to the sky. Breathe here, and then bring the right hand down. We're going to bring our right foot back behind us, so we're back in tabletop. Curl our toes under, peel our hips up, back in downward facing dog. 
You may have shifted out of your mat. You might want to check and make sure that you're still aligned nice and straight. Lift your hips up, let your heels get heavy, feel a big stretch through the backs of your legs. And now step your left foot up between your hands. Lower your right knee down, untuck your toes. We're going to shift our hips back and forth. Same thing. Other side. So you can go faster, you can go slower, whatever feels right for you today. And then come to the front so that your left knee is over your left ankle. Press down into your left foot. Climb your hands onto your thighs. Once you have your balance, you can reach your arms up, gazing up at the ceiling, maybe letting your hips sink forward a little bit, coming into your crescent lunge. Take a breath in and then bring your right hand down, keeping your left arm up as you twist to the left. Breathe here. Bring your left hand down, slide your left knee back underneath you. Curl your toes back into downward facing down. Breathe here. This time, float your right leg up behind you. Bend your knee, step your right foot all the way forward, coming into your low lunge. Extend your left heel back. And now let your right left knee come down, sorry. Untuck your toes. And we're gonna shift our hips back even further. So maybe we walk our hands, maybe we can flex our right foot. This should be a big stretch through the back of your hamstring. Feel free to come up onto the tops of your fingers, lengthen your spine nice and long, and then exhale, fold forward. So kind of a cat-cow motion. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, round forward. One more time, lengthen. And exhale round. We're going to walk ourselves back forward into our low lunge. So lift that left knee up off the mat. And now ping your right arm all the way up, coming back into the twist, facing the door. Beautiful, guys. Breathe here. Bring the right hand down and step yourself back into downward facing dog. Take a few slow breaths here. Step your left foot up between your hands. Maybe you need to help your foot up a little bit. Lower, reach your right heel back and then lower your right knee down, untuck your toes. Breathe here. That's not what we did on the other side, it's a... We did. We did? Yeah. Oh yeah, thank you. I just had a complete room. <laughs> then we walked our arms back. Thank you, Marie. Stretch your left leg, reach your left toes up to the ceiling, and then we lengthen our spine. Exhale, round, whack. Lengthen. Exhale, round. Lengthen. I was thinking about my nails again. Exhale, round. Now we're going to walk our hands forward, curl our right foot under, lift our right knee, and then paint our left hand up towards the ceiling, coming into that twist. Nice. Bring your left hand down, step back to downward facing dog. Pedal your down dog out. Walk yourself halfway to the middle of your mat and bring your feet out to the edges of your mat. Bend your knees and see if you can bring your hips all the way down. Keep them all the way into a squat or your version of a squat. And then bring your hands to your mat, move back into a forward fold. Bend and lower. And then come back into a forward fold. One more time. Bend and lower. And last forward fold here. Heel toe the feet in a little bit more narrow. Slowly roll up, letting your fingers travel up your legs as you come all the way up to stand, lining your shoulders up over your hips. Maybe you take a little bit of movement. We got to get to the front of our mat so you can like get there however you want. All right, let's do a couple sun salutations, sun A. So inhale, bring your arms all the way up overhead. And exhale, fold forward, keep your knees bent. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins, press into your legs, lengthen your back. 
Exhale, fold back forward. We're going to stand all the way back up. So bring your arms out to the side, come all the way back up to stand. And then bring your hands back down by your side. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, fingertips on the floor or your shins or your thighs. Exhale, fold forward. And then inhale, come all the way back up to stand, palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands down by the side. Let's add on to that a little bit. So inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back with your right foot coming into your low lunge. Hold here for one breath and then plant both hands down, slide your left foot back coming into plank. Hold your plank. Drop your knees down, untuck your toes. Bend your elbows, lowering all the way down to the mat. And then lift just your chest, pulling your elbows back towards your hips. Nice. And then forehead down. I like to come back through tabletop, curl my toes under to downward facing dog. We can get a little bit more fiery in a few minutes, but let's start nice and easy. We're going to lift our right leg up behind us and step our right leg all the way forward. Step our left leg forward. We're back in our forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward, and then stand all the way up, palms touch overhead, bring your arms back down by your side. Nice. Other leg. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left leg back this time. Take a breath in your low lunge. Both hands meet the mat, slide your right leg back, you're in high plank. So you're welcome to drop your knees, or maybe this time you lower your entire body down in one slow motion, stomach all the way to the mat. Untuck your toes, lift just your chest and head, coming into your baby cobra, pulling your elbows back. And then here you can come back through tabletop, or maybe you want to curl your toes under and press back up into your blank pose. Your choice. And then downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Close your left leg up behind you. Bend your left knee. Step it up between your hands. And then bring your right leg up to meet your left. Forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Palms touch. Exhale, down by our side. Inhale, bring our arms up. We're getting warmed up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right leg back. Low lunge, slide your left leg back, you're in plank. So we've done two options. You can go either one of those options, or maybe you're ready to lower halfway down into Chaturanga, bending your elbows, untuck your toes from there, and come into your upward facing dog with your knees and thighs off the mat. Exhale into your downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Float your right leg up behind you. Step your right leg all the way through. We're going to rest here. Well, we're going to pause here for a moment. I won't say that we're going to rest. We're going to plant our left hand down and twist up to the right. We're going to bring our right hand back towards our left leg and look back at that right thumb. And then bring it all the way down. Bring your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Palms touch overhead. Exhale, fold right back down again. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back with your left leg. And pause here. Slide your right leg back. So your choice of your vinyasa, you can go knees, chest, chin. You can lower yourself all the way down to the floor. You can go halfway down. Coming into upward facing dog and then exhale into downward facing dog. You can also just take a few extra push ups there if that's, if that's what you want to do. Breathe here. Put your left leg up behind you, bend your left knee, slide your left foot back up between your hands. 
This time we're going to plant our right hand down, twist up to the left, and then bring our left hand back towards our extended right leg, and then bring it back down on the floor. Step our right foot up to meet our left. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, come all the way out. Palms touch overhead. Exhale, palms down by our side. Okay, are we all feeling warm? We feeling good. Are we ready? All right, so now we'll build a flow. What I like to do is like we'll do it and then we'll do it again, but we'll change like something, maybe make it a little more challenging. We'll do it two or three times until everybody's like, that's enough. All right, inhale, <laughs> bring your arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Take your version of your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, maybe straight up push up, coming into your back bend, and we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up behind you, bend your left knee, open it up to the ceiling, and then twirl your left ankle and then twirl it in the other direction. Straighten your left leg out behind you, draw your left knee to your nose, pause it here, and then slide your left foot up between your hands. So we're in our low lunge. We're gonna turn our right foot down so the inside of our right foot is touching the mat. We're pressing our entire right foot into the mat. We're gonna reach our arms out and up, coming into warrior one. Breathe here, straighten our front leg, exhale back in the warrior one. Straighten and bend one more time, straighten and bend. Without moving our legs, we're gonna twist our torso towards the doors, opening our arms into a T position. That same rotation that we did with our elbows, our shoulders at the beginning of class, we're gonna rotate our arms up, our hands up to the ceiling and then to the back of the room and then up to the ceiling and then to the back. You wanna keep your left knee bent, you're staying in that low lunge. All right, now both palms are facing the ground. We're gonna turn our left palm up. We're gonna exhale back into Peaceful Warrior. So our right hand comes down on our right leg, wherever it's comfortable. Left arm reaches up and over. And then we're gonna slide all the way through the side angle so your left forearm touches your left thigh. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Beautiful. So you're finding this triangle shape in between your arm. Now we're gonna rotate our torso and place both hands on either side of our front foot. We're gonna bring our back leg in a little bit so we're in a more narrow pyramid pose. See if you can bend your back knee and then straighten your back leg, bend your front knee, straighten your front leg. So you're rocking back and forth. Nice. A little weird, might not have a lot of movement, but that's okay. All right, now walk your hands a little bit out in front of you and start to shift your weight so that you can lift your right foot up behind you, coming into a supported warrior three. Take a breath here, drop your right hip down, even I have mine lifted, and then bring your right foot by your left foot, bending your feet, coming into your chair pose, reaching your arms out overhead. Breathe here. Take one more breath. And then you press down into your left foot. Let your right knee come all the way up. Balancing on one leg. Find that place to stare straight in front of you. And then see if you can float your right leg all the way back behind you. Coming into your high lunge. Take a breath. Bring your hands down to the floor. Step back to plank. You can go straight to down dog, or if you want to take a vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. 
right, I'm not going to switch sides for this one. So my back will be to you all on the video. So we're going to float our right leg up behind us, bend our right knee, open our hip up, twirl your right ankle in one direction, and then twirl your right ankle in the other direction. Extend the right leg straight back behind you. Draw your right knee towards your nose, hovering here in plank. Finding your strength. Step your right foot up between your hands. You're in your low lunge. You're going to turn your left heel down, pressing into the outer edge of your left foot. Reach your arms out and up, coming into your warrior one. Perfect. Yep. Breathe. You're straighten your front leg. And then bend. straighten and bend. Nice. Straighten and bend. So now we're sitting here low in our warrior one. We're going to turn and open our arms. Turn your palms up to the ceiling and then rotate them back to the doorway. Up to the ceiling and back to the doorway. Up to the ceiling and back to the doorway. Now that you both face the ground, turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. So your left leg is straight, but your right knee is still really bent. You find a big stretch through the right side of your body, and then you float your right forearm to your right thigh, reach your left arm up. Breathe here, maybe you can gaze up at your left fingers. You're letting your thigh become parallel with the floor. And then we're turning towards the ground, placing one hand on either side of the right foot. Bring our left foot in a little bit so that we can come into a pyramid pose and we're gonna rock back and forth. So bend the back knee and then bend the front knee, bend the back knee. So it feels a little weird, but we're stretching some things that we probably don't get to very often. All right, shift the weight into your right foot. Walk your hands out in front of you. Float your left foot up behind you, coming into your supported warrior three. So think about trying to get your chest parallel to the floor. You have blocks. You can absolutely put those under your hands. Your hips are square to the floor. And then bring your left foot next to your right, bending your knees, coming into your chair pose. So strong. You're sitting here like a lightning bolt. The weight is back in your heels. You're drawing your belly button in. Take one more breath. And then stand all the way up, bringing your left knee up to your chest. Look at that balance. Beautiful. And then we're going to bring our left foot all the way back, coming into our high lunge. Woo! Breathe here. And then bring your hands down. Step back to plank, vinyasa if you want it, downward dog if you want to skip it, child's pose if you need it, and we will all meet in downward facing dog. We're going to pause here and take a few slow breaths, so if you need to come into a child's pose, if that's more relaxing for you right now, please do that. I'm just going to stay here and regroup. One more breath. Float your left leg up behind you. Bend your left knee. This time, move your whole knee in that socket, making big circles. See if you can make three circles in one direction and then make three circles in the other direction. So I want you to think about your balance. Try and keep your weight even between both of your hands. And after your last circle, extend your leg back behind you and then draw your left knee towards your nose, rounding your spine, trying to get your heel as close to your butt as possible, and then float your left foot up between your hands. Take a breath in your low lunge, regroup. Turn your right heel down, pressing into the outer edge of your right foot, reach your arms out and up, come back into your warrior one. Straighten that front leg. Exhale, belt back down. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, belt back down. 
One more time. Inhale and then exhale, melt back down. Twist your torso, open your arms. So this time we're going to straighten our front leg again, just tempering our arms overhead, and then melt back down. Lengthen and straighten, and melt back down. We'll do it one more time. Bring your hands up overhead, and then melt back into your warrior two. Think about your fingertips extending away from you. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Your right fingertips rest on your left leg. Sorry, on your right leg. And then bend your left elbow, place your left elbow on your left thigh, reach your right arm up to the sky. If you're ready to explore, shift your left hand down to the mat or a block, seeing if you can bring that a little bit further. Nice. And maybe you wanna try bringing your right arm around to your lower back. Notice if your chest compressed, you want to stay nice and open, lining your shoulders up. Nice. One more breath here. And then we're going to keep rotating towards our front foot. One hand on either side. Bring our right foot in a little bit so we're in our pyramid pose. We're going to keep our legs straight this time, but we're going to lengthen our spine forward and then exhale, fold back over. Lengthen our spine forward, so kind of like a cat cow. Exhale, fold back over. One more time, lengthen and fold. And now we're going to shift our weight into our left foot, walk our hands out in front of us, start to float our right leg up into our warrior three. So you can keep your hands on the ground, or if you're ready to explore, floating them back behind you, balancing on one leg. Think about lifting your belly button up, staring straight down at something that's not moving, and then bend your foot, place it next to your right, coming into your chair pose, reach your arms out. And take a breath here in chair. Now when we stand, we're gonna float our right knee up towards our chest, balancing on one leg. And now let's see if we can open it into our tree pose. So your tree pose, your foot can be below your knee, or above your knee, just not on your knee. So feel free if you need to help it up. Hold on to a wall, a piece of furniture. It's all there. That's why we have these things. Think about letting your shoulders relax away from your ears and melt down the back. And then bring your knee back to the front. Reach your right leg behind you. Step back into your lunge. Bring your hands to heart center. Breathe in and then twist, bringing your right elbow to the outside of your left leg. Breathe here. Untwist, bring your hands down, step back to plank. Your choice if you want to take another vinyasa. The point of the vinyasa is to warm you up. I think we're all pretty warm now, so now you're just doing it because you like it. Come back to your down dog. All right, I'm going to stay facing this direction so my back is open to you all for a brief moment, but I think you'll survive. Put your right leg up behind you, bend your right knee. We're going to make big circles. Feel that juicy hip. Take three in one direction, then switch the direction. And notice if your arms are getting wobbly. Try and press evenly into both hands and then stretch the right leg up behind you and then draw the right knee towards your nose, press the mat away from you and then slide your right foot up between your hands. Take a pause here in your low lunge. Turn your left heel down, press into the outer edge of your left foot, reach your arms out and up. Reaching your arms up, coming into your warrior one. Breathe here. Straighten the leg. It's supposed to be a little break. Bend the knee again. Straighten the leg and bend. One more time. Straighten and bend. Now we're going to turn our torso, open our arms into our warrior two. We're going to straighten our right leg, bring our palms to touch overhead, and then exhale, melt back into our warrior two. Lengthen and straighten. 
Exhale, melt. One more time, lengthen and straighten. And exhale, melt. Turn your right palm up. Exhale back, peaceful warrior. Breathe here, reach back. Check with your left leg. This is still active, or you get mushy. And then bring your right forearm to your right thigh, reach your left arm up to the sky. So maybe you're ready to explore on this side, bring the right foot hand down to a block or the floor, reaching your left arm up. Maybe you want to bring your left hand to your lower back, your hip. Breathe here. And then turn to your right, bringing one hand on either side of your right foot, straightening your right leg, bring your left leg in a little bit, coming into your pyramid. Come up onto your fingertips, nice straight back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward. Notice, like I just noticed all my weight is in my right foot. You want to try and keep your weight even between both legs and round. Walk your hands forward, shifting onto your right foot, floating your left leg up behind you, coming into your warrior three. Explore lifting one or both hands. So your body is like a T, gazing straight down. You can bring your hands out. Maybe it's just one hand today. And then bend both legs coming into your chair pose. So reaching those arms out in front. Thanks, Snow. Thanks. And sit in a nice and low. Then press into your right foot. Bring your left knee up. Reaching your arms up. Come into tree. So if you need to use your hands, go find your wall. Opening your leg out. So you want to find opening through your hip. Nice. Make sure you're not pressing on your knees. Reach up. Find something that's not moving to stare at. Think about getting taller. Pressing down into the floor with your right foot, your big toe, your pinky toe, your heel. So, so nice. All right, bring the knee forward and we're going to extend the left leg back behind us. Trust that the floor is there coming into our high lunge. Bring your hands to heart center. And then twist to the right, bringing your left elbow to the outer edge of your right leg. You got it, Barney. Perfect. Breathe. Yeah. Ooh. And then untwist, place your hands down. Step back to plank. Go through your vinyasa. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Pedal it out. All right. We have time for almost one more. So we're not going to do the full thing. We're going to go a little bit faster, but you all will keep up. I won't add anything new. So put your left leg back up behind you. Bend your left knee, bring it all the way forward, coming into your low lunge. So no twisting, just turning the ankle. Turn your right foot down, come into your warrior one. Take a breath here. Open into your warrior two. Take a breath here. Turn your left palm up. Exhale back, peaceful warrior. And a breath. And then come through to side angle, reaching your arm up, meaning to explore the floor or the half bind. And then rotate towards the ground, come into pyramid. Walk your hands forward right away. Float your leg up into warrior three. Find your balance. Bend your legs, come into your chair pose. Press down into your right foot, float your left knee up. Maybe you come into tree. Stand here. Bring your leg forward. We're coming out of it already, Marty. <laughs> Sorry, I was too fast. We're going to bend your leg back, coming into your high lunge. And then exhale, melt yourself all the way down. Step back to plank. If you want the vinyasa, this is the second to last one. Coming into downward facing dog. Okay, last side, last time. Put your right leg up behind you. Bend your right knee, draw it in towards your nose. 
Slide your right foot up between your hands. Turn your left foot down. Come on up to warrior one. Take a breath here. Open into warrior two. Feel your fingertips extend away from each other. Turn your right palm up and exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come all the way through the side angle. Maybe your hand is on the floor. Maybe you're taking half of the feet. Breathe here. Turn towards your front. Bring your back foot into pyramid. Go ahead and keep walking your hands forward. Float your leg up and lower your three right away. Take the balance if you want. And then come into chair pose. Breathe here. Press into your right foot. Bring your left leg up. Open into your tree. Bring your knee back to the front. Step back into your high lunge. Bring your hands to heart center. Oh, and then all the way down to the floor. Step back to plank. Last vinyasa. And we will meet in downward facing dog. Pedal your down dog out. Please make her stop. Okay, okay. Let's do pigeon. Put your left leg up behind you. Draw your left knee towards your left wrist. Slide your shin across the mat. If you're not a fan of pigeon, you can take bigger four on your back. So walk your right leg back behind you. Check and make sure that your leg is kind of straight back there and that your foot isn't like doing something funky, that the top of your foot is on the mat. Maybe you put a blanket or a sweatshirt or something under your left hip. You can stay upright, or if it's comfortable, you can come down onto a mat. You can potato your head. Maybe you want to try a block. So you might want to just try like standing that up and resting your forehead on it so that you can find a little bit of really, don't worry about it, I'll wake it all out. A little bit of like letting go, letting that tension go. We're like almost done. Play around with it. Sometimes setting something under your back hip will help. I'm going to sit here for a few more breaths. So breathe into it. Try and let some tension go. Breathe into it. All right, we're going to start to walk back onto our forearms, onto our hands, and then we're going to roll onto our left hip so that we sort of make our way into a half straddle. So your right toes are pointing up to the ceiling, you're facing the doorway. You know, think back to like fourth grade gym. So if you can bring your right, your left foot to touch your right inner thigh, we're gonna take our right hand, place it at our left knee, take our left arm and twist back behind us, look over our left shoulder. And so you can press against your left thigh with your right hand to see if you want to twist a little bit deeper. But now think about the twist coming from that you're twisting your spine. So you're not like jerking your shoulders. You want to think about it like a corkscrew, like your like a DNA helix thing. And then slowly unwind, walk all the way towards your right big toe, and then crawl your hands out towards your foot. Letting your head hang heavy. You might feel a lot of stretch through your hip, through your lower back. Nice and gentle. Don't strain. Slowing everything down. All right, and now we're going to walk, sit back upright, and take our left hand behind us. And we're gonna press up, coming into what is called a stargazer. So you've got a little bit of a back bend that might feel good for some of this opening for our hips. If you don't like it, don't do it. I will not have hurt feelings. And then we're gonna come into our tabletop. So you probably have to adjust yourself on your mat. 
And then we'll come back into our downward facing dog. And we have our other side. So put your right leg up behind you. Draw your right knee towards your right wrist. Slide your leg across. And then extend your left leg behind you coming into the pigeon. So it might feel totally different on this side. Maybe you want to put a block or a slipper or something underneath your right hip. And then check your left leg. And then when you're ready, come down as much as you want or can or feel up to. You might be able to extend your arms all the way out in front of you. You might need more of a support. And then see if you can let your head rest on something. And that's more because I want you to let go of the tension in your neck and shoulders. So that's why I'm encouraging you to put your forehead on something. Put the weight of your head down so that you can let go of the tension. Next. We're getting towards the end of the day. Hopefully able to relax now. Breathe into it. And then when you're ready, you're going to start to slowly come back on your forearms and slowly make your way back up. Roll on to the outer edge of your right hip, coming into that wide leg and pose. I'm going to twirl all the way around just so I'm not. So your left leg is extended. Your right foot is coming to the inside of your left thigh. We're going to take our left hand, place it on the outer edge of our bent right knee. We're going to take our right hand, we're going to twirl behind us. So again, don't uh, through your shoulders and your neck. Think about twisting from the space of your spine all the way up, like you're wringing out a wet towel. Look over your right shoulder. Beautiful. And as we unwind, we're going to unwind all the way towards our straight left leg, or maybe your left knee is bent, that's fine. We're going to walk ourselves out over our leg, feeling a stretch through our lower back, coming to whatever feels good for you. Maybe you can hold on to your toe. Maybe that is not anywhere in your repertoire right now. That is fine too. And roll yourself back up. Take your right hand behind you. We're going to do that stargazer. So you're going to press the left arm up, come into a little bit of a back bend. Maybe you feel like a rock star here, like Eddie Van Halen or something. And then come all the way back into your tabletop position. Sorry, I did like a. And then cross your ankles, roll back, coming into a seated position. Extend your legs out in front of you. Plant your feet on the floor so your knees are pointing up to the ceiling. We're going to do my slow roll. You know I love my slow roll. Reach your hands up. Count of 10, coming down. 10, 9, use your core. 8, 7, 6, 5. Hold on to it. 4, Three, you can do it. Maybe you're crashing two and one. Back of your head on the mat, knees up to the ceiling. Slide your heels in so that you can tickle the backs of your heels with your fingertips. Your toes should be pointing away from you. The backs of your hips are evenly on the floor. Your shoulder blades are evenly on the floor. Your palms are pressing down into the floor. We're going to roll our spine one vertebra at a time, lifting our hips, coming into a bridge pose. You're going to find that articulation through your spine, chest to chin, chin to ceiling. One more breath here, and then slowly articulate back down. One vertebra at a time. Bring your knees to touch, walk your feet to the outer edges of your mat, bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, feel the breath, feel your heartbeat. You can stay here and relax or you can walk your feet back and we'll take one more bridge pose. 
So line your heels up, make sure you can tickle your fingers, press your palms into the mat or hold on to the outer edges of the mat. Slowly roll your vertebra up one at a time. Lower back, middle back, upper back. If you want to, you can interlace your fingers behind your back, shimmy your shoulders together to get a deeper back bend, totally optional. Press your triceps into the mat, finding that space, that opening, that lift. And then slowly, one vertebra at a time, you're gonna come back down the opposite way. So upper back, middle back, lower back. Bring your knees into touch, walk your feet to the edge of the mat, bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Deep breaths here. Open your arms into a T position, drop both knees over to the right. Take a breath here. Slowly bringing both knees through center. You're going to bring them up and over to the left. And the left side. Windshield wiper back to the right. And then back to the left. Draw your knees into your chest, maybe into your armpits. If you like to take a happy baby, you can flex your feet and reach for the outer edges of your feet. Maybe you want to just come into a baby ball, rock side to side, rock forward and back. Take this time to take any movements that your body is craving, anything you can get to that you still feel like you need to do. Take a few more breaths. And then when you're ready, make your way into your Shavasana. You're gonna extend one leg and then the other, extend one arm and then the other. Line up your spine so it's nice and straight. And then bring all your energy, attention and focus to your feet. Curl your toes in on themselves, tense and clench every muscle in the Squeeze, 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 and then let them go. Let them relax. Take them. Bring your energy and attention to your legs, to your shins, your knees, your thighs. Squeeze every muscle of your legs together, turning them up, wrapping those muscles around your leg bones, and then relax. Shake it out. Let it go. Bring your energy and attention to your hips, to your glutes, to your waist. Squeeze everything and tighten it up. Squeeze it and come into that center point of your body and then exhale. Let it go. Shake it out. Let it relax. Bring your energy and attention to your hands. Place your thumb in your palm. Wrap your fingers around your thumb. Squeeze, tighten, squeeze, and then let it go. Shake it out. Bring it relax. Bring your energy and attention to your arms, your forearms, your elbows, your biceps, your triceps. Tighten up every muscle straight in that arm. Squeeze, 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 and then let it go. Shake it out. Let it relax. Bring your energy and attention to your chest, your shoulders, your upper back. Tense it all up. Squeeze it in. Feel like you're collapsing the chest and your big drive itself. Squeeze, 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 and then let it go. Shake it in. Let it relax. Bring your energy and attention to your neck, your head, your face. Scrunch your eyes, squeeze your cheeks, purse your lips, wrinkle your nose, clench your neck. Tighten your jaw and then let it go. Shake it out. Let it relax. From the top of your head all the way down through your entire body to your big toe, tighten, squeeze, and tense every single muscle. Feel like you're drawing everything in, 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 and then exhale. Let it go. Let it relax. Let your body get heavy. Melt into your mat, moving into these moments of stillness. We'll stay here for a few minutes. I'll come around in the room with some lavender.
Stay in your Shavasana as long as you want when you're here or at home. There is no rush. And if you're ready to start to come out, think about wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers. Gently rock your head side to side. Let your tongue move around inside your mouth. You want to extend your arms overhead, taking a big stretch, let your jaw swell up in the middle, bring your fingertips to your toes. When you're ready, roll on to one side. We're going to pause here on our side for a few breaths. No rush. Can you trust? And the blood flow to your hands. And then using your hands, gently place yourself back up to a seated position. Whatever seat is comfortable for you, place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Feel your heartbeat, your breath. Acknowledge and thank yourself for showing up and doing this for you. And I thank you all for coming and letting me lead you through your practice this evening. Namaste. Mm -hmm.